probably about to get real silly. And I hope you can deviate from the laughs and the important stuff. Because I can't. And someone needs to. It's been a minute since we've visited the old AI art. How's it coming along, you must wonder? How are the new recruits settling in? Has there been any developments on that front? Has the AI learned any new tricks at your bequest? These are the kind of questions that no one's asking, America. No one. And that's why... I'm going to answer them. That's right, me. And if you must know, things are coming along very swimmingly. The AI and I, so we call ourselves I and I, but it's AI and I, only it's pronounced I. Well, we've been very, 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 very busy helping me design things. We've got some new products out. Ever since the equestrian statues, we just couldn't seem to get them right. And while, yes, it could definitely conjure up scenes from my childhood that never happened, I ask it to show me deadly animals from the future. As far as I can tell, this is a land jellyfish, sort of triple stacked. Then we designed a video game called Killer Clowns. These are screenshots from it, allegedly. Now, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I think he took a little creative control. Well, with these cotton candy monsters, but thematically and artistically, I think it's right where it needs to be. I mean, who'd be mad at that, right? If there ever was a game called Attack of the Killer Clowns, please let it look like this, because this is awesome. In fact, I tried to pass them off as screenshots with some friends of mine who actually play games, and apparently, you know, it's pretty obvious that it's not from a real game. But I was convinced, and I knew it was fake. There was another sighting of the half-shark, alligator, half-man, this time in monochrome. And some of the battles in California were still raging, although they've sort of morphed into these, uh, dim dim Derbies. This is the Battle of Chico, the Battle of Watts, California, and the trim now. This is the Battle for Jackson. It looks pretty, uh, dismal. Either that or someone's vacuum bag exploded. This is apparently what the face of our master looks like, which, I don't know what to think of this. Is it the toad? Is it the empty suit? Or is it the large toes that are all around that weird sort of birth canal throne? I don't know, America. I also don't know about this meaning of mummies. Like, what do they have to talk about? This is what it produced when I asked it what our cities should look like, which was heartwarming. Then I said, not being alive, what does life look like from the outside? And this is what I got. And I kind of agree. That's kind of what it feels like, too, sometimes. These Mustangs have bucked off their equestrian overlords, and now they ride with pride back into the fields. At least that's the story I made up. This is the battle for, uh, Paradise, California. I thought it would just be a guy fending his yard off from a wildfire, but, uh, I guess in a way it kind of is. This is me introducing a new tarot card into the Pantheon. The Lemon God. Here's what the AI imagines it looks like coming from my head. Here's what the AI thinks that I think it looks like. Here's what it wants to look like. Here's what it thinks I look like based on my logo. Which one's me? Which one's Jimmy? Maybe there are two of us. This is what our city's gonna look like 10 years into the future. Here's what our capital building's gonna look like. Here's what it produced when I asked it for what's our escape plan. A while back, a random viewer requested a glimpse into what the Battle of Clear Lake would look like. At first, I was well relieved and disappointed. Looks like all's well here. But then I realized that what I'd done differently is I'd actually prompted the Battle of Clear Lake. Instead of the Battle for Clear Lake, when I ran that one, I got drastically different results. Everything from newfangled weaponry of the most destructive kind. Apparently there are giants fighting for the team of America riding spiked horses. And things escalated very quickly here at Clear Lake. A bunch of pirates composed entirely of rocks are on someone's team. And apparently it spans centuries and involves these sort of manic digital horses, handless boba fets with bony growths from their necks, and samurais with large balancing appendage and rather flat helmets. There are apparently large forts involved in Clear Lake. Flotillas, men on whale-shaped boats flying the flag of the butterfly, if you can call them men. Bizarre crustacean tank hybrids, whatever that is. And I don't think things are going very well for our, our valiant Clear Lake defenders. Yeesh. Most important conflict of our century apparently involves involves lobsters trying to snuff out hot coals. This is how China will deal with the next pandemic. What else did we do? Oh, that's right. We developed a new line of action figures. Here's the commander himself. The desk is not included in this one, but still, I thought it looked good. And every action figure needs a good villain, so we couldn't forget that. And actually, if you uh, get the expansion pack, it comes with the body doubles, so that's pretty cool. I mean, if it were a real thing, I'd probably buy it. My own gift shop. We also worked on a prototype I called the Carmadillo, with various results. Now, I don't think we're quite there yet, but I do think we're, we're onto something. I really do. I think the addition of the belt on this one really, really brings home the extra bacon. 
I tried to work on some new battle vehicles to help our Civil War army out, but, but somehow I don't really think that the results are going to help much. And as far as our valiant Civil War efforts, I'm afraid it went a little off the rails this time. But uh, I'll just let them introduce themselves and uh, you can decide for yourself. Come on out, boys. Roll call. And girls. And whatever. You'll see what I mean. You know the deal by now. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering how the, uh, if I've made advancements as far as creating realistic people, well, you tell me. I'll, uh, let the results, uh, speak for themselves on that one. I think I know which way you'll lean. You can see why, uh, this can lead to some disturbing outcomes, if you know what I mean. What happens when you let the AI go unchecked? These don't look like Civil War soldiers to me. Or at least if they are, then I don't know what kind of war we're fighting. But this is jumping ahead. Let's watch the progression. Kunstag, Van Ronson, Trux Pohani. Scum-eared fan meal. Theodore Roosevelt, 3000. Who is not here, Dicky? Gliso Frisch. Lul, lul, exercise. Bandalan. Major Vincent Graham, look, how you doing? Grethelm of Silent Whispers. Grethelm of the Depths. My friends call me car. You might as well. Vizhome! Melori Sinanthas. Asteri Seso. Bad going, no bad. Chinbayar. Munsugwak. Pigdani Gorgolese. Sergi Asing Burst 23. Ebe Karg Gruka. In Tonkis Haze Burn. Author Stormstock. Sizvice. Walrus Nivlad. Keith Sasra. Skirakas Gengere. I'm Travis. Um. We're actually out of that one. Do you want me to take a number in case we happen to restock it? Or do you want to find something else? Well, with the active movement of transhumanism seemingly gone sort of mainstream, and in my mind, this rather distorted understanding of the meaning of life, and no matter how many different ways they rebrand things like eugenics, which is essentially what this is, I thought, that's just a tale as told as time, from the Nephilim to various other creation stories that I can't, there's always this genetic modification, and that's sort of the drawing, you know, the bottom line, the, that's the line you can't cross. Well, they seem to be crossing that line, we're getting pretty close to it, and since no help appears to be on the way, with the help of AI, I have created my own hybrid army. <laughs> Introducing my very own super team of super villains, and actually, the criteria to this was could I make a joke from your name? A very bad pun. And if so, welcome to the team. Retired basketball player Leandro Barbobat. Marvel's Iron Man. Iron Man. <laughs> Professional raver, Professor Ecstasy, Vladimir Pustin Boots, <laughs> the name needs work, CNN's Don Wemmon, Warner Brothers, and Middle Earth combined to give you Yosemite Samwise Gamgee, Mario Brothers, and CNN form a coalition, and the result is Anderson Cooper, <laughs> Star Wars meets Supreme Court Judge Ruth Vader Ginsburg. The most good-natured beetle and the most vile-tempered X-Men. Wolverine Star. <laughs> this is supposed to be a dinosaur. Duck Bill Clinton. <laughs> I can't wait to get off the rails with that one. Anderson Starship Koopa. Gandolphin from Middle Earth. From Russia and the Land of Oz with Vladimir Putin Man. Game of Thrones. Meets House of Representatives in Nancy Pelissandra. California Condor Lisa Rice. Darth Kamal. Paris. Country singer Darth Brooks. Jedi Knight from Los Angeles. Kobe Wan Kenobi. World Health Organizations. Meet Sesame Street in Oscar the Fouch. Narnia and Cloud City combined to give you Aslando Calrissian. The White House and Mario Brothers team up again for Kamawa Luigi. <laughs> that was terrible. U.S. Senator Lindsey Grandma. And finally, Mad Maxine Waters in Jury Road. Featuring the villain, Immortan Joe Biden. Which perfectly segues into my next segment called Army of Joes. Including Joe Sidon, the Sea God. Hisayo Miyazaki's Princess Joe no Noke. Street Fighter 2's M. Biden. Which I think stands for Major. But I can't be certain. Aunt Joe Mima. <laughs> DC Comics, The Joker. Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero Joe. 
Disney's Aladdin's Joe Farr. Damn, I should've ran with this one. G.I. Joe. Aw, oh, man, I just made that one up, but I should've ran with that one instead of the action figure joke. Opportunity lost! And finally, Joe Sama Lynn Biden. And on that ridiculous note, and before you start throwing tomatoes, I'm gonna leave, and I'll see you for something much more relevant. So, 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 so